going on guys? For today's video, I figured I'd try something a little bit different and do something in Premiere Pro. Uh, I've used this program a little bit, and done some effects and color grading and sort of basic editing. Um, I haven't done too much with it, but I know enough. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to do Sam Colder color grading within Premiere Pro. This was a question I got asked a few times as these LUTs that I have supplied for you guys are um, you can use in any program you want that accepts LUTs or cute files. So download these LUTs, go to the selfie link in the page um, here, and I have the link in the description below. Hit buy now, it's completely free, you don't have to put in any money. Just add your email in, hit download, and then you're going to get um, a zip file that has three different LUTs built into it. So we have Sam Colder LUTs here, we have three different cube files, um, and then that's all we need to do from that page. Next step is going to be going into Premiere Pro, and I have these three clips laid out that you've seen already. We got this GoPro clip from skiing in Revelstoke, this drone clip from Thailand, and then this drone clip as well from Thailand. So in order to color grade this, you're going to open up Lumetri Color. This is something that I really wish Final Cut had built into it because it is super powerful, um, but unfortunately it doesn't. That is one of the benefits of Premiere Pro though. So if you go over to your window, open up Lumetri Color, and then I like to open up Lumetri Scopes as well, just to see a little bit more detailed of what's going on. So for this clip here, you're going to go into Creative. And under Look, this is where you can add different LUTs. So if you go into Browse, there's a whole bunch of ones there that I already have. If you go into your Downloads, Sam Colder LUTs, and then you can select whichever one you want. I can go through these three for you guys. This is the first one. That's that look to it. And then go through the second one. A little bit different, a little bit more orange. And then the third one, which is my favorite one, and the one that I use the most, is this look. I sort of really like that dark blues that come out of it. But as you can see, this grading is pretty powerful. So if you go over to your intensity, you can drop that to around 50%. That's usually where I like to do most of my LUTs, just so they're not too overwhelming. And then for this shot here, it needs to be a little bit brighter, so if you go into your basic correction, we can up the exposure a little bit, maybe drop the highlights a little bit, make it a tad more saturated, and even up the exposure just a little bit more, just on the scope so we can lift that up. And that is looking pretty sweet to me. So just a few easy steps makes a load of difference, which is pretty cool. So if we go into our effect controls and turn off the metric color, that was the before and after. Really get much more vibrant look out of it. So if we do the same thing on this second clip. We go over into the creative section, browse, add that third filter. So as you can see, this one is definitely pretty intense. So I'm going to drop that to 50 as a starting point. You can always change it after. And then go into our correction and we'll boost the exposure just to get a little bit more detail out. And drop the highlights all the way down because it's a little bit overexposed in the clouds. Maybe add in some more contrast. And for the shot, I'm going to increase the intensity to about 65, maybe even go up to 70 for the shot. And I like to add a little bit of faded film to if I am using Premiere Pro. So that looks pretty good for that shot. I can switch it off here. That was the before and the after. So even within a few minutes, you can really get a load of difference, which is pretty cool. And now for the third and final clip here, go into Creative, Browse, and let's just try the first one. 
happens to be a little bit different. So that is looking pretty good already. I definitely want to increase the exposure. Drop the highlights down. Create a little bit more contrast where I can. Drop the blacks a little bit. And maybe just change the temperature. And then drop the intensity. Forgot to do that one. Try about 50. And that looks pretty good as well. Let's just see what some of the other ones look like on this clip. Every shot will be different of the colors. So you might have to do a little bit of tweaking afterwards, but a lot is a really good way to start off your color grading. And the third one looks pretty good. Maybe it's a little bit too contrasty, so we can drop the contrast down. And that's looking pretty cool. We'll turn that off. So that's what we started with. Pretty, pretty flat color profile. And then after the grading, which is pretty significant. So that's today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you are a Premiere Pro user, let me know if you want to see more of these tutorials. If not, then I'll just stick with the Final Cut ones. But I've got a few questions from Premiere Pro users, so I might do a few more of them in the future. Leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.